What were you waiting on? I was waiting on, I was thinking, bro, that's, this is what I'm saying. My ideals and my priorities was that I was going to do this. Like I was going to do all these things. Yeah. At that time, bro, I didn't understand just doing one thing. I was so focused on doing all these things, thinking that, you know, I'm going to go to the baby shower and I'm going to make this video and I'm going to get the podcast done. I'm going to do the stuff from around. I'm going to clean the house. I'm going to cook. And I'm going to get the gifts for the twins. I'm going to get the gifts for a bit. I'm going to... I'm gonna do all this. I'm gonna do all this, I'm bro. the man. I'm, you know what I'm saying? My priorities is they all scattered brain. Five percent. Yeah, five percent. That's me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, my priorities is all over the place. And yeah. I was telling Mariah this this morning, like, bro, when we got scattered thoughts, bro, there's no reason to like try to have conversations and everything when you got scattered thoughts. What's going on, y'all? It's Coach Willis. Once again, we are back. This is the Be Easy Show. We're bringing topics to you every single episode, helping you live your life easier. That's the plan and the mission of the podcast. Whatever platform that you are listening to this on, whether it be YouTube, Apple Podcasts, or Spotify, if you could like, comment, subscribe, leave us a five-star rating. Do not forget to share with somebody because the support is gladly appreciated. So once again, like I said, I'm Coach Willis. As always, man, we got Zylons joining with us. Hi. Hey, what's going on, man? Hello. Oh, no. Life been treating you right, man. Man, it's been cool. Hey, I ain't tripping. Uh, they just be flying by to keep it here to buck with you. You look up, and, oh, it's Monday again, bruh. It's Monday again, bruh. I, I, all I can ever remember is the weekend. That's, that's pretty much it. So, just, just working on a garden yeah. type stuff, working on the backyard. Got a new lawnmower because I wanted to, I wanted to get a new one. I didn't want to get something. No, no, you know, secondhand. Trying to get a John Deere out there? No, nah, I actually got an electric lawnmower. I like it a lot. Push more? self repel mm. I, so I just didn't want to deal with the oil and the gas yeah. and the spark plugs. And, well, you got to prime it. Yeah. And it's just smoke, too much, bro. It's super loud. Yeah, yeah. I'm vibrating. I can't listen to my headphones. Mm-hmm. I was like, ah, you know what? I want an electric mower. I'm going to go get it. That. It's not no cord. It's just a cordless. Yeah. Electric mower, it's super dope. I'm gonna get an electric weed eater and all that, and then got the little little weed and feed mm. down by the later little grass seeds yeah. and in the earth. Mm. Don't worry about the front yard. I don't care yeah. nothing about the front. Okay, nothing about. I don't care nothing about the front of the house. Right popping now. in the back, but man. the back for the yeah. be jumping. <laughs> it's gonna be jumping. Yeah, man. That's pretty much it. Um, I'm focused more on writing. I'm learning more and more about writing and what I like. So we've already established that I love poetry, but I'm learning more and more about uh essays i really like essays and things like that and all that entails because like it started off with me writing fiction i'm like all right cool i like fiction Mm -hmm. but i'm like okay i like poetry more like okay but i still want to do fiction right now i'm to the point where i don't even really want to do fiction anymore i just want to write poetry and essays yeah about whatever i'm thinking about Mm -hmm. i didn't even realize i've been writing essays in the past about certain situations i didn't even realize that's what it was as i was venting like no these are actually essays i can take and rewrite them and rework them. And this is actually a pretty good essay. It's content, man. I guess. I just kind of got to the point to where I don't even care because I always wanted to do stuff like the poetry and the essays in that route, but it's not going to make me no money. Yeah. Nobody going to read it. It will, man. <clears throat> but now I don't even care. I don't yeah. care if anybody read it. I don't care. I don't care nothing about that. Yeah. I just put out what I want. Yeah, man. And write what I want. It's your document, man. Yeah, man. That's all I've been doing, man. That's it. What about you, man? Um, Sapa say, my brothers and sisters out there. Don't nobody know what that means, man. Sapa say, I don't know what that means. It's, I guess it's like, what's up? But it's also, pass away. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's like, what's up? But it's also like, hello. Yeah. In Korea. So, Sapa say, my brothers and sisters. But, um, now, nah, um, yeah, man, my week has been actually pretty cool. Let me ask you this first, though, man. That's not what I heard before the podcast. Uh, all right. All right. So just, you all know, right. we don't hear Trying cap, to clean it up. Cap it on the pod, to, uh, I'm not going to let you do it. I'm not going to let you do it. You say, <laughs> and I'm cap beat. it on the pod, I'm man. beat. I've been no, running no, no, around. No, oh, like, man. Nah, cap man, it on the pod. You got, you got to keep it a buck. This is a buck. For sure, man. For sure, I will. But it's, um, first. It's been a good week, but hey. You know, hey. Just trying to make it dog. Just trying to make it dog somehow. But now, first, um, that electric llama, bro, have you already used it? Yeah. Is it powerful? Is it as powerful as a gas one? No. You can, but I didn't get the most powerful electric lawnmower. Yeah. I don't need to do all that. 
And I'm just cutting my backyard. I can see if I was cutting acres. It's not designed for acres. Yeah. So if you out here putting in real work and need to cut down like, you know, six inch tall grass. Yeah, you ain't going to do it. Get you a gas. But if you're just, you know, doing some maintenance around the house, I mean, you know, I don't see why not. But yeah, no, I don't think it'll ever get to the point, mm -hmm. at least for like another five years or so, to where it's just better than gas. I don't know, bro. When it comes to lawnmowers, I never want to go back to a push more, bro. I'm not going to lie. I don't mind a simple film. I hate them. I hate them. I'm tired What's of up? tired of pushing. Even if it pushes itself, bro, I'm tired of them. I'm tired of having to walk behind these things, man. What, what I look like having just, a, a rider I, for my, bro, my house. I don't care, bro. Hey, when I used to cut yards with pots, bro, I don't care. You got the smallest backyard in the world. <laughs> if that rider can fit back there, bro, if it can get back there, I'm taking it back there, bro. Like, what is this man I doing? I don't care, man. Because you know how, like, even like with yours, man, how you have, like, the sidewalk and you have, like, a small little patch right there. Yeah. I'm on the, on the push more. Like, I'm riding over it. Not on the push. I'm on the ride, bro. Just riding over all that stuff, man. Don't you have to, like, come back and, like, weed eat and stuff like that? Yeah, like, spots? That, you know, it's different. Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right. Okay. Instead of, like, the whole time, bro. I don't know, man. That's just my spiel about push mowers, you know. I don't like cutting grass, but I mean, it yeah. is what it is. Mm -hmm. But next, man, on the on the essays, bro. When I was um, when I was like journaling everything, bro, that was like one of my thoughts was turning it into a blog, you know. Instead of like all this stuff, I was just writing in my own <laughs> journal, like going through and editing and stuff. Which I figured out I hate editing, so writing is not the way for me. I just something like editing your writing. I hate it, bro. I, I enjoy just, it. I, I cannot because you get you go back through and get that you get that flavor. Yeah. Like they don't even. I'm gonna hit them I with can't it. Can't do it, man. I can't do it. What you gonna do, man? You gonna just hire an editor? Yeah, more than likely, man. All right, more than likely. I don't know. It's just, it's not that. Okay, first of all, I'm bad at it, bro, because my grammar has been terrible from a young age. But second is that I just don't like, bro. I'll be so motivated. It's like one of those things. I guess you can't say the gym because I'm. I'll be motivated to go to the gym. But it's like one of those things, like. You so amped up the whole day, like, yeah, I'm about to do this today. I'm about to do this today. Yeah. Then it comes around to actually have an opportunity to do it. And I'm like, don't want to do this, bro. I don't like it. I don't want to do this. I didn't so you, so like, you like video editing, though? Oh, yeah, bro. I can't stand video oh, editing. Yeah, bro. I'll be like, bro, I'm about to drop some shorts. Yeah. And I start editing shorts. I'm like, I hate it. <laughs> I hate doing this. I don't like doing yeah. it. I can never find the videos, the clip I want. It's crazy. And it's just like, you know what? I'm not going to mm. do it. I love it, man. I just... It's actually a but lot. I, and I love yeah. editing, like, you know, written, written words. Yeah. I don't know, man, but you like to do audio too, right? Yeah, I enjoy it. I don't know, man. Okay, it's just, when it comes to written, I don't like to do written. But audio, to me, audio is just too complex. And I, know it's, not. I know it's just me wrapping around my head thinking that it's complicated, but it's just like, I'm like, bro, I'm looking at these wavelengths and I'm like, like, I be hearing videos of, like, you post on Instagram, and I'm like, why didn't this dude just send me the audio? I be fed up. Like, why, yeah. why, is this, why does this audio <laughs> sound like this? We're better than this. Yeah, man, I know. I need to send you, uh, especially, like, the ones I just recorded, bro. But I don't know. I just be thinking, like, bro, that's 20. Like, the one I just did, I just batch recorded 20 videos, bro. I'm like sending you each one of those videos to go through. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like that's that's a lot, bro. Yeah, like, it is. That's why I just be like, I because I got you this, just like take it as is. No, I got this. Um, okay, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I go to Premiere Pro. And these yeah. are the two things I use. I use. What why is are it? you editing audio in Premiere? That's the thing, bro. Stop. But no, no, it's pretty much the same thing. No, it's it's, it has audition integrated, but it's not the same. Okay, okay. I'm guess I'm just using because this is all I use. I use Denoise. And I use, what is it, high pitch or high pass? It was the only two things I use. A high pass filter, yeah. Yeah, that's the only two things I use. That's it. I don't go no deeper than that. If those two things can't fix the problem, the <laughs> <laughs> they're not getting fixed. It's not getting fixed, bro. Yeah. It's, either, it's either I'm going to scrap the video and that's just it. We're just going to throw it away. Like, it's a blooper. Forget about it. Or it's like, I'm going to just push it through. I'm going to just put it out anyway. But yeah, if, it, if those two things right there can't get it, the job done. Do you even use the denoise correctly? I throw the denoise on there, and I think I set it to forty percent every time for every video. Are you capturing a noise print first? So you don't even know about that. What is that, bro? <laughs> See, the, the you're, noise not, print? <laughs> you're not even. It's not even doing anything. <laughs> the denoise is not doing anything if you don't capture a, no, a noise print. What's a noise print? It, whatever you're trying to denoise. 
like the like the when the refrigerator kicks mm-hmm. on, I go isolate that audio, capture that audio, and then I go do the denoise. So your denoise is doing nothing. I thought denoise was just like. Now I don't record videos outside no more, but when I used to record videos outside, I thought denoise was like taking out the wind in the background. No, I mean it can, but yeah. if you don't capture a noise print, it's doing nothing. Oh, I'm just wasting my time then. Just wasting my time. So what about you slide high, with those what about the like, high, yeah, yeah, I'm like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. this is making a difference. What? Yeah, we going with that. So what about high pass? What about the high pass? Filter? High pass filter, yeah, it's doing something. It's it's more on like I believe that's an equalizer. Mm-hmm. So that's more so messing with the frequencies on the on yeah. your voice. But that's why I don't record videos outside no more. Yeah, I record them indoors because I'm like it's ideal to record indoors unless you got the proper equipment. But even then, it's still true. ideal to record indoors. That's true, man. And it's just. To me, I was doing it because I thought outdoors was like, man, getting to see the scenery and everything. But now that's why I'm using I'm using B-roll in the videos yeah. because it allows me the opportunity, though, you can still see scenery and still see like it's to keep you engaged in the video. So you can sit there and listen to a full one minute video. Yeah. Which it's crazy to even say, but, you know, to actually have to do all this to make you sit through a one minute video. But. I understand it. You know, some people's reels I don't like. I just scroll past, so I can understand it. But anyway, that's why I do that. And I don't do it outside no more because the wind and all the other stuff, man, cameras falling over, microphone too oh, far away. Oh, getting fed up. Bro, I'm telling you, so I was just like, you know what? Indoors. Everything is indoors now. I'll go shoot the B-roll outside and do all that stuff outside. But when I record the actual audio, it's going to be indoors, bro. But yeah, man, that's that. So well, let's talk about the week, man. The week, the week was smooth. It was um smooth at the beginning. Let me say that. Smooth at the beginning. Um it was smooth that Monday. That was it, man. <laughs> our, our podcast was probably the smoothest thing, bro. And then Tuesday, you know, I jumped on um shout out to the the homies on the Clear Vision podcast. I jumped on their podcast. Shout man. out to y'all. Yeah, man. It was dope. Um, I think I had a real good episode. Um I was salty, bro. Bro, I needed my IT guy there, bro. I was salty, bro. What happened? Okay, so they they do their they stream theirs, right? They, so they do it through um StreamYard. Okay. And I get on my Google Chrome, get on there, man, and it's saying that my Google Chrome doesn't have access to my video or your mic. Or my mic. Mm-hmm. So I go through so You the, gotta allow it. I, I thought and I your did. your security preferences. That's what I did, bro. I unlocked the thing so mm-hmm. I could add. Did you but, lock it back? Yes. And Google Chrome wasn't popping up on there. So I said, bro, I don't like I'm on. So you have to go to it and you have to drag it over if that's the case. You have to go find that. Fo- what did you do? To, how did you do to fix it? What did you do to fix it? OK, so how did you fix it? StreamYard, um, they they had a little step by step, little process of what to do. Yep. Follow that step by step process. I went to my system preferences, bro. Went to um the I don't know what is it, privacy or what to allow that. Yeah. And I unlocked it mm-hmm. so I could add Google Chrome on there. Yeah. And when I tried to slide it on there, it wasn't going on there. I don't know if I was sliding it on there right or whatever. I was I was I just know. taking it from the little um bar down there and sliding it onto there. That's then not I, how it works. And I was calling him. I was like, bro, I can't get it on my laptop, man. I can't get it on my laptop. So um they was like, Well, then try it on your phone, man. So I tried it on my got it on my phone and got set up. But now when I listen back to him, I'm like, bro, my audio sounds like trash for somebody that actually does podcasting you know what i'm saying because yeah. i had to do it through my phone and my airpods yeah. bro like i was why didn't tyler just get on the podcast bro, i was so <laughs> salty man oh, i was so man. salty man and i told them they was like because they was looking at me like bro why are you struggling i'm like bro this is my homie this is what my homie does bro i don't do none of this bro <laughs> like i know y'all think that i don't do none of this bro like i'm not gonna take credit for it i was like bro he set up all anytime i have any trouble with this stuff i go to him man so yeah, man, that happened. But shout out to him, man. It, it was a smooth podcast. I enjoyed it. And um, Wednesday comes around, man. Um, oh yeah, I guess I could talk about what happened Tuesday. Oh, that the day you got hit? Yeah, that was the <laughs> day I went down, man. Yeah, I went down on Tuesday. Had a little incident, man, at work. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna get into all the full details, but had a little incident at work, and it caused me to miss a few days of work. So by <laughs> Missing those few days of work, man, you know, I'm sitting here and I'm, bro, I'm telling myself, since I got time, bro, I'm about to knock some stuff out. Like, yep. since I'm not, since I can't go to work, bro, I'm about to knock some stuff out. And I did, bro. It was a few days where I posted twice a day, man, because I had the time. And um, 
That makes sense. So I was, I know, post a little bit more. Yeah, 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 man. I had the time, bro. And I yeah. was like, I got some video editing done and all this stuff. And Wednesday, man, I remember that was the day, bro. I went out and I shot um, B roll. I shot some B roll for some more reels. And then I, sh- I recorded some. And Bro, when I say that felt like a full time, like a full time job, bro, like in one day, shot that B roll. I think I was like, <sighs> time starts flying, bro. Wait, it's been four hours already, bro. I'm telling you, now man. I gotta get ready for bed, bro. It's crazy. So B roll is cool. I like it, bro. Yeah. But when you shoot it by yourself, it's <clears throat> so hard, bro. It's so hard because I gotta set my my camera up here. And then I got to show myself walking wherever I'm walking or whatever I'm looking at, whatever I'm doing. Yeah. Go set myself up. Make sure I'm in frame because, you know, I'm doing it on my phone. So I don't have like the like if I had a real camera to show the playback screen, I don't have that right there. So I have to like look on my watch and make sure like I'm in camera and everything's in framed and it's recording. And then I got to go do what I got to do and then come back and get the camera and then walk to another spot and then set that and do the whole thing over again. And um, so I did all that, bro. That took a few hours. Then I get home and I had to record all the um stuff that I was gonna say for the next like twenty videos. Yeah, that took some time. So when I get to that, and I'm like, bro, after that, I was like, I gotta take a nap. Took a smooth nap, man. Why do you put so much on your plate, man? That's what. My, okay, yeah, this is what we get to, man. This is what we get to. <laughs> Mariah said the same thing to me every time, and I never feel like that, bro. I never feel like that. It sounds like you put a the lot on your plate. The only time I feel like I have a lot on my plate. Is when I gotta like clean or do the like clean, like do the dishes, clean the house. I feel like this is a lot on my plate, bro. Why are y'all making me do all this extra stuff? But like recording those two podcasts back to back, like ours and then theirs, I was cool with. No, I'm talking about how you just I'm gonna record 20 different vi- that's a it, lot on the plate. It is, man. Could it be is. 10. It could be 10. And this is the thing, this is why I'm cool with doing it because 20, bro, like if I stretch that out right and make like some quote posts and everything, bro. That could be good for a whole month. That's like that drug talk. I'm trying to stretch your key. <laughs> <laughs> but if I break it down, yeah, you know what I'm saying? add a little yeah. bit to it, <laughs> I'm going to stretch it. Stretch, you know? So each one of this much and everything, but I have the whole process back in a week. I'll be good. Yeah. But um, I get what you're saying, though. So but. that's why I do that. And like I said, Thursday came around, I still wasn't going to work, but I had more time. I was like, okay, I'm about to just knock out editing. Went hard on editing today. Friday comes around, like I said, family's in town now, bro. So um, I'm trying to get things um, ready to go for like what's coming up this weekend. Yeah. So now I'm trying to like edit the podcast because I know I ain't gonna have no more time to edit the podcast once this weekend starts. So I'm trying to make sure by Friday, bro, I got this thing done. Saturday comes around, I can just do the things with the uh, family. And shout out to my um, my nieces. Happy birthday to y'all. Happy birthday to Billy. And. Happy birthday to Jessica. Shout out to Jessica, man. You know, drop a bomb on Four bombs, man. Four birthdays, man. Drop a bomb on all of them, man. Shout out to the nieces that come. A lot of birthdays. And it's a lot, bro. This past few weeks have been, it's, it's going to be busy. But um, so that right there. And then, like I said, man, I edit the podcast. And then it comes around, we got a baby shower. Yeah. So I didn't really want to take this on for myself, but I just ended up doing it, bro. Um, my mom's ex, she called me that morning because it was for my sister's birthday. So mom's was in charge of the baby shower. And mom calls me in the morning. She asked, could our mics, could they hook up um, to a Bluetooth speaker? Nope. And I said, mama, I don't think they can hook up to it. But I said, mama, what kind of speaker is it? I said, if it's a real deal speaker, it might have an XLR cable and we might be able to go good with that way. Mm-hmm. She said, I don't know. Cause it was already like at the venue, um, it was already built in at the venue, like yeah. their uh, PA system. Ah, okay. Yeah. So I said, so I get up there and it had, I brought the mic and everything. I brought the stand. Um, yeah. Cause I was going to try to like, if they wanted some pictures and everything, had to stand there. Yeah. So I bring all the equipment and um, for one, they PA, they PA uh, was down. I'm not going to say the city, but y'all, Y'all trash for this, man. I'm not going to say this, city, but y'all trash for this. Get up there, and like I said, the, the mics don't hook up because the PA system is broke. Mm-hmm. It's just broke. The dude, um, I get up there, I was like, Pops, like we can't unlock this to see if it, he's like, nah, man, the guy said it don't work, so we're not going to use it. So I said, well, dang, but then we ain't got no mic, so we got to just talk loud so everybody can hear us. Yeah. But uh, anyway, um, I brought just a stand, and Mom asked, she was like, what, you about to record this whole thing? 
And I was like, mm, I, this is content. I was like, yeah, I think I am, man. So I ended up recording the whole, um, the whole baby shower, man. And when I get home, so I told him, I was like, man, you know, I was like, I think I can have the video done in a few days. Granted, the, the video is done now. Got home that Saturday and edited the whole video and did the final touches on Sunday. But when I got home first on Saturday, bro, the podcast episode was toe up, man. Like I told you about the render and all that. The yeah. podcast episode was toe up, man. So I had to go back through and fix that and everything so the podcast can come out on time. And I still wanted to get this baby shower video done on time. Because like we was talking about video editing, bro, I actually had some fun editing and like piecing it all together and make it like look nice when it was yeah, all said and done. I don't doubt it. And this is a good cause. But it yeah. seems like there's a lot on that plate. That's what I'm saying, bro. So this is um, what you was asking me, though. Like, man, how's I piecing all this stuff? Bro, I think it just comes down to, like, what am I prioritizing, bro? Because at the beginning, bro, I, like, when it started off the week, bro, prioritizing the podcast was cool. Our podcast and theirs. That's cool, bro. But when Wednesday come around, when Wednesday come around, bro, yeah, I had to, like, I still got to cook dinner. I still got to, like, clean and everything. Cause Don't y'all go to church on Wednesday? Yeah, we go to church on Wednesday, too. So got to go to church on Wednesday. That's a, a definitely we're going to be going. But normally Wednesdays is one of those days where I spend time cleaning the house. I don't do, like, a lot of the content, none of that stuff. So I normally spend Wednesdays just cleaning. But, you know, since the incident happened where I was down bad, mm -hmm. you know, I was like, well, you know, since might as well just I ain't moving around like that. Might, might as well. well. Yeah, do some yeah. editing, man. And that extended longer than what I thought. And then, like I said, making other content that extended longer than I thought. And stuff was just running over, bro. Like, I was just like, even with the planner, bro. Like, I fell off my planner, but then I started using it again. I gave up. Yeah. <laughs> I got this nice planner for yeah. no reason. But I've been sticking to, like, i still been sticking to, like, my one thing a day. But, you know, little filler things fall within that. Yeah. So, um, like, my one thing, like, Saturday with the baby shower. My one thing was just the baby shower. And granted, I still had to like work that day, but that one thing was just the baby shower. Yeah. On then, Saturday. Yeah, on Saturday. It was just the baby shower was that one thing, bro. I was going because I know I'm gonna spend time with the family because you know they're gonna go back home to where they're from or where they where they live now, not where they're from, where they live now. And then I added on, like, I didn't for one, I didn't know the podcast episode was gonna mess up like that. Yeah. And I didn't know that I was gonna be recording a baby shower and editing a baby shower video. You know, so I didn't know that I was going to be doing that. Well, that was on you. You decided that. Was on that. Me. that was on me, bro, because yeah. I didn't prioritize what was really important, bro. I should have just said, bro, look, after this baby shower, just make sure the podcast episode is out and then just relax, rest, bro. But I didn't go in with no really priorities besides, you know, hey, just make it to the baby shower. And now I'm up there editing. I'm up there getting testimonies from folks. I'm up there all types of testimonies. Oh, yeah, man. You got to see it, bro. It's, it's, it's a nice video, bro. It's a nice video. I don't want to. <laughs> it's a nice video, man. It's pieced together real well, man. So, yeah, yeah, it's pieced together well, man. Yeah, but yeah, man. I think how long was the baby shower, man? Two hours. Hmm. It's a lot of space. You recorded the whole thing? Nah, not the whole thing. Oh, okay. Not the whole thing. Okay. Like, nah, not the whole. I didn't even have a full. I recorded on my phone. I didn't even have a full battery on my phone. Okay, but. now I'm willing to watch it. Yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna watch it's the less whole than, I baby think it's shower. Like, yeah, I think it's two hours. I wouldn't even do that, bro. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to. This is a documentary, bro. Yeah, I don't, nah, the I'm new bad. Batman movie. Like, my goodness, man. Two two twins yeah, like, coming into the Come world. In. <laughs> <laughs> They're not here yet, but soon. <laughs> oh my goodness. Or was bro. it one twin? Not, one twin, or was it yeah. two twins? One twin. Well, it actually, it's two twins. Because it's the second set of twins. I know, but like I'm talking about in the moon. one's coming up. Yeah, it'd be one twins. <laughs> we, I do, don't know. we sound dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's one, no, it's one it, set of ones. A, two sets. Is it twin eyes or twins? Pasai? Dices. Dices. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I was talking dice. So... But yeah, that's what happened, man. It's like I said, man, my priority is all over the place. So then this is why you need to have your stuff in order because when your priority is all over the place, Sunday comes around, right? Sunday comes around, bro. And like I said, we all know what happened, bro. Um, so when I was 
um, uploading the, the video. I was uploading the video for the podcast Saturday night. Podcast come out Sunday morning. Yep. Okay. It takes a minute for it to upload onto YouTube. While it's uploading onto YouTube, I'm editing the baby shower. I get so in and just engraved into like what's going on. I'm editing the baby shower and everything. Mar- I look over Mar- Mariah closed the laptop. So normally when Mariah goes to bed, that's when the night is over. There is no like, hey Mariah, you know, just go ahead and do your thing. I'm gonna stay in here and work. There is none of that. So she closed the laptop. I'm like, now yeah, the night over, bro. What time was it? This is about 12, 12 30. Okay. And um the video for um for the podcast, it already uploaded to YouTube. Yep. No caption, no title, no thumbnail. No thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> no thumbnail. None of that stuff, bro. Yeah. None of that stuff. And um, like I said, bro, I just got so engraved into um making doing that baby shower video. Like I just got so into it, like trying to piece stuff together and everything. It looked good though. Yeah, man. It looked it, it looked real good. <laughs> that it it came around to Sunday morning. And like I said, man, my my sisters and um uh, my husbands and everything, they was leaving. Um, Sunday to go back home. Husband. Husband and boyfriend. They got married? They been married? Yeah. Nikki and Billy? Yeah. Yeah. How long have they been married? That makes sense. Yeah. I just, never, nah, I just never thought about it. They got married before the twins got here. Yeah, yeah. So they, they going on about two years now. Good for them. I didn't, yeah, I didn't. about two years now. All right. You know, the way the military do it. That's why people be asking, like, man, these military dudes be popping on the knee fast, man. The military, like, bro, you don't. Like, like your stuff, you'll be having to pay a lot of that stuff out of pocket. Like, yo, your kids come around, bro, uh, and y'all not married? Uh, we ain't paying for that joint, yeah, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's on you. Yeah. So all that stuff. And then also, like, with the moving process, it'd yeah. be, like, if she wanted to move in with him and everything, and he if he was living on base, yeah. it'd be tough with just a girlfriend. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. But yeah, they've been married for two years, man. So it's been successful for these two years. So shout out to them. But I guess so um, that Sunday comes around, bro, and we go have dinner at the or breakfast at that place before church. Yeah. Wake up early. And I just, I thought I woke up early enough to, I was like, bro, I don't know why I told myself. Like I said, we went to, we went to bed at 12 and then we started watching the show. So we really didn't go to sleep till like one. Mm-hmm. And I told myself, you know, podcast come out at 7 a.m. I'll be up at 6 to finish and get everything right. <sighs> yeah, right, man. I think it comes around to, like, my alarm is going off at, like, 7. At 7, bro. Mm-hmm. The podcast already dropped by now. <laughs> <laughs> podcast already dropped. Now, I mean, I hit that snooze and rolled over, man. Forget it. And um, then I had to wake up. As soon as I wake up, bro, I'm getting ready to go to eat breakfast. Yeah. Come back from breakfast, I was like, you know what? We said that we was going to meet up there at 9. I think we're going to get back home by like 10, 10, 30. Like that's 30 minutes before church start. I get everything done. Put Because already the thumbnail was already done. A lot on that plate. Man, you hear me? I was like, I'm going to put the thumbnail on there. I'm going to do the, all of it's going to be done, bro. I was like, I already got the, the trap just broke out for the video. Everything is done. I just need to put it on the video. And uh, we get home, bro. I think we got home at like 10, 50. So it was like no point of even going home. We might as well just go straight to church. Go yeah. straight to church. Church go until like two, two thirty. And then it's a mm. long service. Yeah, I know. Mm. And then um mm. after that, we eat dinner with Mariah's moms and her, her family over there. Mm-hmm. We eat dinner. Everybody gets to talking and everything. Me and Mariah get home at like 3 34. Now I'm going through. I was like, damn, I gotta get dinner. This. That was I, lunch. I gotta get this thing done. Oh, yeah, but you know. We ain't we ain't gonna eat again with each other after that, so we just call it. I get it is lunchtime, but yeah, we just call it dinner because we ain't gonna eat again with each other. Yeah. But um, yeah. So then I I remember, bro, I had to do some stuff that Mariah told me to do, um, the day days before, before like everything broke down with the baby shower. But I was like, bro, I gotta go straight to the baby shower. Dang, bro, let me. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell. I ain't gonna tell that story. But before you talk, but, you see how you started off this whole thing. Yo, the week's pretty good, man. Hey, week's pretty good. We this still talking like about a the travesty. week. Travesty. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, we still talking about the week. This is a this, lot. This is a lot, bro. This is why I'm trying to say this, bro. It's like my priorities is all over the place. I'm just saying this to Vent, man. You know, sometimes we're gonna just get on here and vent, man. That's good, you know? man. It's content. But, um, yeah, man. The, um, before I left, 
before I left to go to the baby shower at work, man, I seen it was an incident that happened at work. I ain't gonna talk about it because the ambulance was involved and everything. It was a real serious thing that happened like right there, bro, in like front of my face. So I'm helping out with this incident now that's going on, bro. And we trying to help this dude and the ambulance is coming and all this. It's crazy, bro. Just crazy. So that stuff Mariah told me to get before I was supposed to go to the baby. I didn't get the chance to get it. Yeah. Then we get home from the baby shower. We just want to go home. So I said, you know, tomorrow I got you. I got you. I go get it tomorrow. But like I said, we ate dinner and everything. We get home. And then I go to the store to go get all this stuff. Thumbnail is still not up on the on the podcast yet. The captions is still not up on the podcast. None of that stuff is up. I ain't got none of the show cards. None of that stuff is up, bro. Because I got all this other stuff going on, man. And it's crazy that you said a lot on your play because well, the thumbnail and stuff that can wait. That can't wait, man. But I would prefer to have it out. You know what I'm saying? I I would prefer stuff. I know stuff ain't always gonna be like polished and um, you know, professional all the time. But I would prefer, you know, what I'm saying it to be more legitimate. Now, granted, though, with the way we do the podcast and the way we um, upload and everything, it'd be easier if we was like weeks and weeks ahead. And like that stuff would already be taken care of, and I wouldn't have to worry about none of that. But since we do it all in that that week, it makes it more difficult. But that still makes no excuse because being one week ahead, I feel, I feel like it's the most comfortable. Yeah, man. One week ahead. Once we get like three weeks ahead, I'm like, ah, this is. Yeah, now mm. now we just we. Yeah, yeah, I know. Then we get real little, little yeah, lazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the audio, you don't get the think, audio till yeah, like a Friday. Know. <laughs> Then we we miss three weeks. Week. You know, we can miss a week, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we done missed two weeks and all that. So I think one week ahead yeah. is like where we got the right amount of pressure. Yeah, for sure, man. For sure. But Mariah was telling me just today, she was like, um, because she was asking me, um, because I was gonna have to push out here to come to your place. And I was telling, bro, I've been telling her for days. Not for days, not let me exaggerate like that, but I've been telling her, like, I'm gonna get them dishes done. The dishes gonna get done, man. I'm cooking other meals. Them dishes are gonna get done. I know I'm at, but I'm, I'm these dishes are gonna get done. And I've been telling her, and um, she was like, because I told her, I was like, well, when I get home today, I was like, I'm gonna cook, and after I cook, yeah, I was like, when I get home today, I'm gonna cook, and then after I cook, I'm gonna do the dishes. Then I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna go to Zyla's place to shoot the podcast. She was like, how are you gonna do all of that? He's not. He didn't. He didn't. <laughs> He did. Shout out to him, man. Yeah, I did, bro. I did. I did two out of the three things. And one of the things I missed. You cooked and then you dipped. Right, that's, <laughs> that's what you did. You cooked and then you dipped. Now she's looking at all of dishes. <laughs> and I added more because I cooked again, man. So Wait, you cooked in the dirty kitchen? No, nah, no, nah, it wasn't. Bro, it ain't that bad. Like, I'm over exaggerating. Like, it's just completely full. Yeah. But nah, it was clean, bro. It was clean in there. Don't you got a dishwasher, man? Yeah, I know. What's I, up? I use it, bro. What's up? Ding, 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 ding. So you just, hold on, hold on. Let, let's talk about this, man. You just put dishes in the dishwasher without, like, at least doing a light clean over them first? You don't rinse your dishes before you put them in the sink? What's up? Like, you don't, like, soak your dishes and stuff like that just in the meantime? Yeah, I do, but that's on What's like, up? Even, like, the stuff that you might have to go a little bit harder in, you're not going to fit everything in the sink. Hold on, you using the dishwasher, like, Religiously. Religious. Okay, okay. Then, then we seeing it different, man. We seeing it different, bro. I wear that dishwasher out. Uh, bro, because I'm using the dishwasher, bro, like when they stack up on me. <laughs> I, when, can't, when, I can't when, wait to use that dishwasher. <laughs> Throw them in the, Like, bro, I don't I don't hand wash dishes no more. For real? No, I don't do it. Oh, Because I don't have time. That's not the priority. Bro, I'm come. Bro. It's not the priority. When I use the dishwasher. Because, bro, hand washing dishes takes like 45 minutes. It does, bro. It don't take nothing about five minutes. Throw them in a dishwasher, mm -hmm. hit them with that cascade platinum, and it's <laughs> and it's for the <laughs> and it's for the man. Set it to that set on that Sahara away. Desert. Yeah, it's gonna get hot. Damn, bro. And, it, and the dishes always come yeah. out clean. Sprinkle a little white vinegar at the mm -hmm. bottom. Make sure you do what it do. Yeah, done. Because mm. I don't have time to be doing all that. Yeah, bro. I know. Priorities, man. Priorities, mm -hmm. bro. I got. I'm. I'm trying to write. I'm trying yeah. to read. Yeah, man. I need to work out. Show. And then if I got to train that week, well, no, I train every week. But if I got to train that day, I don't know. Then I got to cook. Yeah. Well, I need an air fryer, bro. But I don't feel like spending the money on it. Yeah, I just used ours today. 
it's it's it, bro that saves a lot of time because mm-hmm. like the oven takes like 45 minutes when i could just use the air fryer 15. Yeah. exactly man but let's be like a hundred dollars i ain't trying to spend a hundred dollars you trying to get one of the heavy duty ones man? oh yeah i want rotisserie oh, okay, okay, okay i want a rotisserie <laughs> yeah, in that yeah, sucker. yeah 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 well, man, you should have let us know, bro. We had a family in the church selling one. It wasn't. It was selling for like half price. I didn't know you was looking for one like that. Yeah, man. Because it was one of the heavy duty ones, man. It's too late now. Me, like, yeah, I want a dehydrator was, and yeah. all. Me and Mariah just got one of the ones just bloop, set the stuff in there. Just that's one of the one my mom wanted me to get. But I'm yeah. like, I, I ain't might doing that. Go hard or go home. Yeah. <laughs> I want one. I can put a whole bird in yeah. that sucker. <laughs> <laughs> that's not what i want oh man then you, i want to get like a little thing like with a sous vide that mm-hmm. i can sous vide some food like bro yeah mm. yeah man. whole nine man save you, some time did i tell you man they got uh they got air fryer ovens now like the full get up yeah like full oven is an air fryer that's kind of dope yeah i don't know if i'll do that anytime soon does it have a stove top yeah it got the stove top really mm-hmm. and the inside is the air fryer Really? Yeah, bro. That seems like the move. Yeah. Yeah, man. Especially if it heat up. expensive, though. If, right now, I wouldn't doubt it. Right yeah, now. That sounds like if, move. if it heat up as fast as the air fryer do. That's crazy. Yeah, bro. That's then crazy. That, that's the move, for sure. But, yeah, man. But priorities, man. Priorities is important, bro. And they really are, bro. Because your stuff can get all out of whack. And, and then you just all over the place. Like, yeah. wh- now what? Now what do yeah. I do? I took your one-a-day thing and... Yeah, bro, I'm cruising. I'm like, yeah. you know, one big thing and then like little proximity things. Mm-hmm. Like, boom, like, all I'm going to do today is train. I'm not doing nothing else. Yes. I'm going to come home, train, mm-hmm. do a little cool down exercise, take me a shower, get in the bed. Yeah. I didn't watch the movie. I thought like, man, oh, today was I can watch day. movies. Yeah. Man. Yeah. House is clean. I ate the home cooked meal. Mm-hmm. Dog's good. Speaking of my dog, my dog got out again today. But Houdini. Gone. Houdini. <laughs> he got locked up. Had to go get him out of jail. For real? Yep. Dang. They came and scooped him up. He blind, too. Was he barking at somebody? Nah, somebody just called on him. Oh, he's just straight out walking around? Yeah, I'm glad they called. Dang. Yeah, I come home for lunch every day just to check yeah. on the dog make sure they straight. Mm-hmm. Homie wasn't out there. So I'm riding around looking for him. I have to call my job like, yeah, I'm going to have to take a half day today. I'll, yeah. I'll be there later. Dang. I, had to call, I called the pound, but they was like, yeah, we got him. Like, cool, I'm gonna come pick him mm-hmm. up. So he's like, Did you lose the dog? I'm like, Yeah. And just came over and got him. Dang, man. I had to, it cost money too. I got a $26. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, man. Houdini out here. I like man. the one a day thing. Yeah. Like if I, I, all right, I'm gonna post something on Instagram today. And post something on Instagram, write a poem, write, get started on the poem because it takes mm-hmm. a minute sometimes. That's it. That's it. Then read. That's it. Like, yeah, it's nice. Mm-hmm. I think if we do have priorities, you can't have too many. Yeah. Because if you got a, like a lot of, this is a priority one, and then you got four priority ones on the list like mm-hmm. you did, baby shower, edit audio, get Mariah that stuff. Those are priority ones. Yeah, bro. You got too many priority ones. Yeah, man. that makes sense, You got to figure it out. That makes sense. Cause, it's all on the plate. Bro, because I one of the things that helped me, like what you said, like that, that do make sense. Because one of the things, my priorities, bro, do help me say no to a lot of stuff, you know? Like they do help me say no. Well, like, I say no in a minute. Um, my little brothers, bro, with they hoop, and I remember before. Now they got this. Um, they got this membership at the Y, so they just always at the Y hooping now. But before they had the membership to the Y, I could tell my little brother, my little brother, I don't know what it is, man. I think y'all I think y'all spoiled out here, man. But they don't like hooping outside. They not with it, bro. They not. Why with should it. they? They are not with Why it, bro. Should, they will never have to play any type of professional or you know school event game outside. Y'all boys keep doing y'all thing. Yeah, but the real Stay indoors. The real savages is outside, man. Exactly. <laughs> Nobody wants to play with them. <laughs> Nobody wants to play with them ruffians. Yeah. Y'all keep it. Oh, man. Y'all keep playing indoors where it's no, cool. Bro, because I took them to go who one day. And, and the um, proof. They, they friend. Um, they friend. It was they homie. And it was both of them. And my youngest little brother, bro, he went and played with, I guess he seen some people that he went to school with, mm-hmm. went up there uh, to the normal spot we go to. This is outside or is it This wild? is outside. Mm-hmm. And he go see his little homie. He played with his little homie the whole time. Yeah. Run no games with nobody else, bro. He just played with his homies. I was like, that's cool. Yeah. And uh, my other little brother, it was just him up there. It was some people that he knew that went to the school with him because, you know, he in high school. Yeah. But they was older than him. But he knew them. But they older than him. They older and they bigger than him. So... He hooped one game, bro. Mm-hmm. One game. He said, I'm done for the day. 
He said, I do not want to hoop outside no more. And his his homie kept his playing. His, right his, his homie kept playing, you know. But you know, before we got the before they got the membership to the Y, um, I remember they used to call me. They used to be like, "Hey man, can we go out to the gym here and there? The gym here and there." I'm like, "Bro, that's all the way on the side of town." No, I will come get y'all. And we going outside. We can go outside right now. But they was like, nah, "I'm good, bro. I don't want to do that, bro." All that, bro. I'm telling you, like now, they be like, "I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it." The only way they hooping outside with me is if. The Y is shut down, and they just can't play at all. That's the only way. But that's like their last resort. Like it's like they called me this week. Mm-hmm. Um, they called me yesterday. He hot sun yeah, all they in my eyes. Nah, yeah, it's with. windy. It's throwing yeah. off my shot. Hmm. When they talked to me yesterday, they said, "Bro, we ain't been hooping all week because moms and pops they've been running around trying to get everything ready for this baby shower. Yeah, so they ain't had time to take them up there to go hoop. So um, they talked to me uh, yesterday, and they was like, "Yeah, man." Can we go hoop? I was like, bro, y'all ain't been hooping all week. They was like, no. I was like, well, why didn't y'all go like outside and play with your friends? We don't want to play outside. I'm like, well, not, not, not even on the street, bro. <laughs> not in the street. <laughs> Dang. I didn't know it was like that. No, nah, bro. I'm telling you, the walk got them spoiled, man. I get what they the got from, The walk got them spoiled, you know? Be, but the weather been kind of nice, though. Bro, they, I'm, they not messing with it, man. I don't blame them, though. They are not messing with Dang. it, so. You know, that's what I've always seen priorities like, bro, that like something I'm going to say no to. Like when I, as much as I like, I didn't try to sit down and edit my own book, bro. I just know I can't do it, bro. I just know it's not for me, bro. And it, I'm starting to learn this more and more. Bro. It's like, it's also like depending on what I'm going to like and what I'm not going to like. Because, bro, as much as I want to try to amp myself up, like what I called you today, and I told you, bro, I can't do it. I can't do it, bro. I, I can't do it, bro. bro. That was so I, funny. I, I cannot do it, bro. That it's was like, so funny. As much as I amp myself up to do it, bro, that's like that's that's on the planet, bro. Literally, I wrote it down. Do this one thing that Zyler said. This do, man bro. said it was done. You hear me? <laughs> <laughs> he calls me a few days later. Oh, like yeah, man, I can't do it, I man. I can't do it, man. I, I can't, can't do, do it. it. I just I don't know what it is, man. It's just it's just stuff I can't do, bro. And. I Man. get it though. It's not in your wheelhouse. Yeah, bro. So it's like it is what it is. That is true, bro. And I don't know that. I think this flows. It sounds like it flows on top of it, bro. I was watching this uh, reel today, and this dude was talking about depending on what your life is like right now. He was like, "That's your standard of life," you know, because most of us base our standard our standard off these. What he was saying in the video, we base our standards off of these ideals, like I. I ideally want my body to look like this. Yeah. I ideally want my bank account to look like this. I ideally want my, you know, say vacation life to look like this type of stuff, you know. And but the standard, the stuff that we set on it for, what we actually go after is saying something else. You know, saying I'm ideally saying I want to have a lot of money in my bank account. But my standard is saying I am okay with working minimum wage. Just an example. I'm just okay with working minimum wage. You know what I'm saying? You have no ambition of doing more. You know, even trying to get a different job, trying to work up in the corporate ladder or trying to go out here and be an entrepreneur. You're not trying to make no investments. You like me when it comes to, you know, the IT stuff. You're saying, bro, it's just too hard. It's just too hard. It drives me crazy. And for the longest, bro. But I it, understand it, though, because it's a it's a lot to jump in. Yeah, 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 it is. It's a lot of initial investment. But beyond just the IT stuff, it's yeah. just that's everything. It's like, yeah, I don't know where to start. Mm hmm. You just start, you know. It doesn't really matter. Mm-hmm. So how how did that finish? How did that finish? That the dude, he was saying that like, when it comes to your standard in life, your standard in life is what he was saying. He was like, your standard of life is what you are choosing to accept right now in your life. What you are okay with, what you are, what what you can tolerate, and what you are allowing to happen to your life. That's not your ideal. Your ideal is your ambitions, your goals, and the stuff you want. Yeah. But most of us are basing our standards and thinking our standards are our ideal goals. But no, your standard is your current state of life. Man, that's a hard to follow. That's a lot. You just, that's a lot. You just said a lot. Yeah, it's tough. I'm a little lost. Your standards, bro, are your current. So, like, look, that's why I said with the, uh, the money. Let's say it like this. When I was going to college, bro. When I first got into Rose, bro, I remember, um, I think it was the second, yeah, the second semester, I took an intro to investment class. Yep. And I remember the professor said at the beginning of the class, he was like 95%. He was like probably more than that, but he said 95% of y'all are not going to do nothing with this information I'm about to teach y'all. I like him. I'm that type of dude. Yeah. But yeah, he, he said that. And I remember when he said it, I was thinking like, 
that he ain't talking about me. I'm that five percent that's gonna take action. But we love to think it's not us. Oh, all the time, bro. All the time. I remember. I'm the same um, way. He ain't this, talking about me. This dude that um worked. That, my bad. This dude that was in the class with me, he worked at that. You remember that grocery store that was on 23rd, Martin Luther King, but they tore it down? Yeah, demolished it. Yeah, yeah, man. Duh. I was going to say a name, but uh, my parents used to call it Country Boys because I guess that's what it was before it was. I don't even remember the name of it. Before it was like Big Savers, um, Shop and Save, all them. You know, no, it, it was like, they turned it into like, what is that? What's the, the Buy for Less. Buy for Less. They yeah, changed it into yeah, that, yeah. but I, I forgot what it was before that because it used to be something else. They used to have like yeah, a little was. pumpkin on the yeah. sign and everything. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what it was. Nah, that's why my parents call it Country Boys. I will still hold on, though. That was the names that they knew. But anyway, so uh, I seen he was a manager in there, and I remember. Mm -hmm. Um, I ran into him while I was in there one day, and I asked him if he made any investments. And he said he's waiting to save up some money before he makes some. And I remember when I walked out, I was like, yeah, he's going to be that 95%. It ain't going to be me, though. You know what I'm saying? Had you invested anything? Nothing yet. Nothing yet. I hadn't even opened an account yet, bro. (laughs) (laughs) You don't even know what broker you're going to (laughs) use. I am that 95%, bro. And like I said, my ideals when I first got into that class was to become a financial investor, was to become an investor all around. And we finna be day trade. Oh yeah, man. I'm about to be doing it big. And like my, because I remember he told me it was one of the goals that I had for, I guess I still do. But he said that him and his wife take two vacations every single year from the dividends that he makes from his stocks and his bonds. They oh, take been invested for a minute. Oh yeah, bro. Dude was old, bro. Dude okay. Was old. Yeah, yeah. He and he'd already retired from like, I think like two jobs. I think it was. Right? Okay. He's <laughs> yeah. He paid bro. And he said him and his wife, they take two vacations a year. And he was showing us pictures and stuff, the places they didn't been, bro. And, I, and I'm like, bro, based off of the stock dividends that he was getting, his bond dividend, two vacations a year. I'm going right, to I'm, I'm do that, bro. I'm going to do that. My dividend is going to be paying me so much, I'm going to be able to take a vacation off of these joints. So I get out of the class, you know, and I was like, all right, man, now it's time to go get this money right, man. I'm going to get some blue chips. I was like, man, waiting about a year from now, I can't even talk to y'all no more. Bank account going to be too big to be talking. So that's my ideal standard is what I'm thinking about. I'm going to have all this money. Man, I think it goes, man, what was that, like 2018 I was in that class? Mm -hmm. Man, I didn't open a brokerage account until 2020. Dang. Two years later, bro. Dang. Yeah, bro. 95% 95% my what? <laughs> <laughs> ain't me. Yeah, man. He didn't say when it was going to come around, you know? So, but I'm just thinking, bro, because when it came to that, bro, I mean, I had to prod it, bro, because I'm telling you, he gave us a book to read, um, this textbook he gave us, and then he gave us another book to read. Mm-hmm. And that book was just like, um, How to Get Your Financial Future Right, like a real short book, like less than 100 pages. The textbook was a textbook, real thick book. And got out of that class, bro. I was in the library. I had read books about day trading, forex trading, swing trading, you know, real estate investments, all these other financial books. Read a bunch of stuff on them, man. Watch a bunch of YouTube videos. Um, I mean, I had even bought, I bought a forex course for like 50 bucks, whatever it was. Bought a forex course. All this stuff, man. I was like, I'm about to go hard on this stuff. Why well, didn't you just? What were you waiting on? I was waiting on, I was thinking, bro, that's this is what I'm saying. My ideals and my priorities was that I was gonna do this, like I was gonna do all these things. Yeah. At that time, bro, I didn't understand just doing one thing. I was so focused on doing all these things, thinking that, you know, I'm gonna go to the baby shower and I'm gonna make this video and I'm gonna get the podcast done. I'm gonna do the stuff for more. I'm gonna clean the house. I'm gonna cook. And I'm gonna get the gifts for the twins. I'm gonna get the gifts for a bit. I'm gonna. I'm going to do all this. I'm going to do all this, I'm bro. the man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? My priorities is they all scattered. 5%. Yeah, 5%. That's me, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, my priorities is all over the place. And yeah. I was telling Mariah this this morning, like, bro, when we got scattered thoughts, bro, there's no reason to, like, try to have conversations and everything when you got scattered thoughts. Because when your thoughts is all over the place and I'm like, if because normally, bro, when I get mad, I just pause for a second and I just collect my thoughts and I try to get straight with myself before I go try to, like, take out my anger on anybody or even like say something like out of line because yeah. my thoughts is all over the place and I'm going to end up thinking that. How often th- are you getting mad, man? Not yeah. often, man. Oh, okay. Not often. But when I do, bro, that's what, what happens. What brings you peace, man? 
I'm realizing that reading and stuff brings yeah. me real nice clarity. I was reading an essay yeah. today and just like, oh, you know what? Mm-hmm. James Baldwin got a good point. Yeah. I like this. Ah, yeah, man. Just really enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, bro. Just, you feel so calm and like my mind is so mm-hmm. clear. Yeah. So how do, how do you collect your thoughts? Man, what brings me peace, bro, is scenery, like outdoor scenery. And at first, bro, I thought it wasn't buildings. But the other day I was downtown. Buildings. Yeah, buildings. I didn't like, like, because... When me and Mariah used, when we travel, bro, Mariah was like I told you, Mariah yeah, like to go I, see cities. That's what I was about to say. I thought you didn't like buildings like I, that's that. That's what I'm saying, bro. I didn't think I did. Yeah. But the other day I was downtown, bro. It's very nice. I was shooting some B roll, bro. I was supposed to be shooting some B roll, but I just stopped for a cool second, bro. And I was just staring at these buildings, and it just like, I don't know, bro. It just I guess it just I guess it humbled me because I was just thinking, bro, these buildings is huge like this, bro. Yeah. Like. These things take a lot of work and like for man to like build these things, bro. It just shows you like that's how I feel when I see planes. Yeah. Man, it's just I don't it just like home me in that sense. Yeah. And the same thing is like, um, you know, being out there in the country where I'm at, bro, it's always spots I can go to and just like walk around and stuff. Yeah. So it's cool. Like, but that stuff brings me peace. Also, when I don't want to leave the house, what brings me peace, bro, is like actually editing content, bro. Like I like that stuff. <clears throat> or just um I'll be fed up. For real? I, I I promise you, I despise yeah. video editing. Wow. And I man. wish I did. I wish I liked it, yeah. but I despise That's it. That's the same thing when we were like text, bro. Like, I can't sit down and like think like, yeah, bro, after I edit this, I'm going to be cool. But like, after I edit a video, bro, and I get to sit back, like, Mariah be tired of me, bro. I'll be like, Mariah, come watch this video with me. Come watch this video with me. Come watch this video with me. Because like, it just, I'll be geeked, bro, when I actually put it together and actually finish and looks nice. Yeah. Like, that's nice to me. But like I said, bro, I don't get mad a lot, but. Like I said, bro, when I do get mad, and um, you know, when you mad, you to me, when I when I'm mad, I'm trying to be right. So I'm trying to seek for an answer to be like, this is why I'm mad, and you did this wrong, or this is what happened that somebody did me wrong. That's one of the reasons, I you know. Mad, yeah. And my brain gets scattered thoughts trying to figure out a solution, and it's like, nah, bro, your thoughts is all over the place. You just gonna be if something sounds right, you just gonna go with it when that not that may not be the right thing. Not even a fact. You know what I'm saying? So the same thing with like um. Well, my priorities, bro, when it came to like investing, I had this big ideal goal when it came to investing that, you know, I'm going to be able to get these dividends and these dividend stocks are going to pay for vacations. I'm going to make a million a year from, from day trading. I'm going to make a million a day from day trading and stuff like this. Like these, all these, like my priorities just all over the place, bro. Instead of just saying, bro, go open a brokerage account. Find you a broker, That's bro. That's first step. Just find you a broker, bro. First step. And they're then, everywhere now. They're everywhere, bro. They're yeah, everywhere. Be careful who you choose as your bro. I don't subscribe to the Cash App and like Robinhood you stuff. You get but... you a, a reputable yeah. broker that's been doing it for yeah. a while. Yeah, man. But that's that's one of like when you set your priorities on the right thing, bro. It's like the first thing is first, bro. Go open that brokerage account. After I did that, it don't that, take nothing but a second. It don't take nothing. Nothing but, but a second. second, bro. It's no different than setting up a social media account. You put your Pretty information much. in. It's a little you know, extra stuff. You might have to do bank account and like social security, extra, stuff yeah, like that. Extra. But but it's you, quick. It's like five minutes. It's real simple, five bro. Minutes. Real simple. And after I open that brokerage account, bro. And a lot of these companies, they will front you the money. They will. You could buy a stock that same day mm-hmm. and own it. Yeah. And then it'll they, they'll front you the money. And then you send it in with your bank account. Boom. Own stock. Now you're in the game. Right there. Now you're in the game. Same day, same hour, mm-hmm. same minute. Man, it's like. I remember bro, I opened that brokerage account, like I said, two years after I had learned about investment. Because I'm not going to say like I was being taught investment growing up and all that stuff. We weren't. Not until I got into that class when I really started to understand about the stock market. And two years later, bro, I finally opened that brokerage account. And I, put, I remember I put just 20 bucks in there. And just seeing that money in the account, bro, I was like, oh, okay. We cooking. Yeah. Then I was like, um, the next check came around, put another 20 in there, man. I was like, all right, man. I got enough to get something now. Like 40 bucks, man. I had enough to get something. Oh, you weren't buying? No, I was I just put the money in there. You didn't first. have a you didn't have like a broker that did fractional? No, they did. They do. What's but, up, man? Bro, I was just now get I just opened the account. Slow down, slow down, mm-hmm. face. See, this is why this is why people getting burnt. You get, do it right now, do it all. Fractional. You know what I'm saying, man? Slow down, bro. Start putting slow it. down. I'm Don't just, be uh trading with your ego. I gotta have a whole share. Yeah. Nah, man. Yeah. You can get nah, you some nah. fractional. That's what I'm saying. Dude, it's okay to do some fractional. But start like, bro, that's the thing about your priorities. If you set on these ideal stuff, like you said, you're trying to buy a whole stock. Yeah. That may be you your ideal. You're never going to get a whole Amazon stock yeah. until they split. But 
if you wait and that stock was like three thousand, mm-hmm. three, three, four thousand yeah. dollars. Yeah. I'm saving to get Amazon stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, what? Yeah, bro. You could have been in the game. Yeah. Making money. Yeah, man. You're gonna cost yourself because because you're trying to wait on the perfect opportunity that's never going to come. Yeah. It's not gonna happen. You're waiting for the ideal moment. Exactly. It's yeah, not man. going to happen. Yeah. So just start now and yeah. get it. And you got your priorities set on the wrong thing, bro. You yeah. know, you gotta get in the game. Yeah, man. You gotta get in. I remember, bro, I remember I bought Albertsons, man. Why? Who been one of my best choices yet, man? Really? Yeah, bro. How I don't know nothing about it. Bro, I'm up 110% on them boys, man. Real? Yeah, bro. Yeah, what? man. They they do dividends? Yeah. Really? And they do dividend. I think my dividend is like above three percent. So how does that work when they weren't they like closing stuff down? Were they like restructuring? They was. They was. But they was moving to different regions. They wasn't closing down and going like not opening nothing back up. Ah. They was moving to a different region of the country. Ah. So now they they was more like in the southeast, but now they more southwest. I didn't know that. Yeah, man. I was like, why would this? That's like yeah. investment in JC Penny. I know it's crazy, and they prioritize it, man. Like, um, you can see it, bro. Like with especially like with Amazon. Amazon changed the game completely. Yeah. But they really prioritizing like this. Not having people in the store, really. They trying to push that model, man. Bro, see, that's why you got to do your research. Yeah. My last member of Albertsons was that one in in, in mm-hmm. the dub, mm-hmm. and they shut it down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gone. It's gone, man. It's gone. But yeah. down there in Texas, like where my uh, my sister stay, it's yeah. a bunch of them down there, man. Real? Yeah, bro. Uh, what's the what's the share price? Uh, right now, what's man, the ticker? I, I think ACL. All right. Yeah, but yeah, man, for sure. But that's what, it, bro. It just started with that one. Mm-hmm. And I remember, mm. bro, I was like, oh, I'm in the game. Man. Yeah. I'm in the game, bro. And I do, like, for sure, bro, your priorities have to be set on the right thing, bro. Because I remember, bro, from that class, I'm not just going to say I bought, I didn't buy Albertson with the stuff, the information I know now, but I didn't just buy them, like, like eyes closed. Win. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I had some information. Yeah. That dude, bro, like, I still had notes from that class, that book that he gave me, I reread it again, and I got my stuff right. But my priorities were set on the fundamentals. Cause I remember he used to tell us all the time, bro. And to an extent, I used to like fight it, bro, when he would tell us. But he was like, bro, don't time the market, go with what you know. Don't time the market, go with what you know. He would say that all the time in class. Don't time the market, go with what you know. And cause he was like, bro, he was so against like um fast money in the class. He was so against fast money. And to an extent, you can't blame him. Dude is old and he made a lot of money from what he did. So yeah. you can't his technique worked for him. But um he was against but, uh, it. I don't think they like the older heads understand yeah, the yeah. market that we're in now. Yeah, yeah. Like y'all buying up this stuff, it was pennies. It was dollars. We're in a different environment now. Sure. So I kind of get I get both sides. Like, yeah. man, I'm trying to get this money now. Mm-hmm. I need these options yeah. now. Yeah. Anybody got time to be hoping I got an Apple in my mm-hmm. pocket, a Microsoft in my pocket, yeah. you know. An Amazon in my pocket. Mm-hmm. Nah, I need this. How did he feel about crypto? He didn't talk nothing about it in the class. Wonder why? Yeah, yeah. he ain't talk nothing about it. In the That's class. funny money. Yeah, man, he ain't talk nothing about that. Now I'm thinking about it. Yeah, because his main thing, bro, um, was you know he was also like when he was breaking down, like you know how they do, like when you sit down with an advisor, like oh you're 20, you're 25 years old. You should be more aggressive, aggressive. on your stocks. You yeah. know, maybe you a can little afford less to on be. Bonds. Yeah. yeah, you can That's afford how he to was be talking, a little. Bro. He was talking like volatile. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how he was talking. But it's I a do, good, it's a good practice. It is, man. It is for sure, and especially like when you don't, when you don't know yet. You know, what I'm saying when you just now getting into the game, bro. Maybe to start before you start jumping yeah. full yeah. force, and into you don't it. have a lot to lose, so you don't have to play it super mm-hmm. safe. Mm-hmm. You playing with a couple thou wow, but yeah. if you in your forties, fifties, yeah, you got six figures. You know what? I don't really need to be messing yeah, yeah. with this no name company that For might sure, man. just get ate up. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense, man. Yeah. yeah, bro, set your priorities, bro, on the right things, man. You know, I think that's important. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Ideals, man. Ideal, and then I. I also want to say this though too, man, because you made a good point. I don't want to, before we close, I don't want to leave without saying this. When you talked about like number ones, man, like in your life, you know, you like, can only have one number one. That's true, bro. Because like what I is can the say, most important, yeah, right now? bro. Because I can say for sure, bro, I gotta get this podcast out, bro. 
But if I ain't done the dishes in days, Mariah ain't worried about no podcast, bro. Like, y'all in there messing around, man. <laughs> she be saying all this. And I know Mariah supporters, bro. She do support us. She's like one of our main supporters. She's the biggest support. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For sure. So, and uh, she do be saying, like, even today with, like, the weather and everything. She's like, don't y'all want to just, can't y'all just miss today? She's like, what if the weather's too bad to get out? It's like, Mariah, we can't miss a day, really, with, with this week. I was like, we can't afford to miss a day right now. Because, like, Zyla going to start training and stuff. The week going to get too far in. We ain't going to get the audio back on time. Yeah. I ain't going to get the video Because if we wouldn't have practiced today, we wouldn't have been able to do anything until Friday. Yeah, bro. And that's what I'm something. saying. Because, yeah. like, I train Tuesday, Thursday. Exactly, you go to church bro. on Wednesday. Yeah, bro. Exactly. It, it's and then Friday, I got a party. Exactly. Yeah, so. So, Saturday, you busy. Yep. Sunday, you going to church. Yep. Monday, that's a regular day. And the podcast didn't come out on Sunday. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. That, I understood it, man, for sure. But, yeah, man, for sure. If you got other priorities in your life, like, man, they like something that you can't overlook. I'm not saying let those things go, bro. And what the dude was saying in that video about your standards, bro, like. Some things let it go. Yeah, some things you got to let it go, bro. Because that's what I'm saying. Like, when it comes to your standards, bro, my standard at first was. I was just, my ideals was I just wanted a lot of money in the bank account. But my standard was saying that, okay, it's more, I have more of a priority right now to buy marijuana than to buy stocks. And not even marijuana stocks. I'm being honest, bro. Marijuana stocks are booming. Yeah. And then you can, you, I was messing with the marijuana stocks plus the, they had like REITs Mm -hmm. that invested in marijuana stock, like land Mm -hmm. where they grow. Yeah. Doing numbers <laughs> over here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah, doing numbers over here. Now I done kind of leveled out. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, that's what's up, bro. That's what's up. That's why I be thinking about Iverson, man, because I was like, I would have you... never guessed that in a million years. Yeah, bro. I'm up over 100% on that joint. That's man. a that's good nice, one. Bro. And don't always expect 100% return, nah, like don't. we said before. But that was, that's a good one. That is, bro. But that's another thing, though, too, bro, is that understanding. And we've already talked about this, bro. Understanding what your numbers are in whatever industry that you're in, bro. Understanding what the real numbers are, bro. Um, you know, like, um, I think, like, one of the things I mainly see on my social media, bro, is, like, motivation, cooking videos. And since I do motivation, they think that I like gym videos. So, like, I see a lot of, like, workout videos and everything. But this one I seen today, this, um, this girl was on there talking about, and she was, like, when you first start, she was, like, Walking through, but she had like the text on the screen. She's like, man, when you first get to the gym, you know, you get in there thinking that, oh, I'm going to lose this weight in a few days. And then she was like, after a week goes by, you get on the scale, the scale ain't moved. So she was like, what do you do? You just keep going. And then she was like, after about a month, the scale moves just a little. But she's like, what do you do? You just keep going. And then after about a year or so, um, you know, the scale really starts to move. And you, But she was like, you would never get to that point if – you don't do the first day, the first week, the first month, the first year. You know what I'm saying? You got to do all that stuff to get to that point. Keep going. Yeah, and you got to understand that. Like, what are my numbers in this thing? Like, oh, am I going to get in there and lose 60 pounds in one week? No, bro. Like, you don't know, you don't know when you're going to lose that 60. Yeah, so it's like just understanding, like, what it, your priority should not be trying to lose this 60 pounds in a week. Your priority should just be trying to show up to the gym consistently, bro. But when your standard is based on, I'm just trying to look good for the summertime, bro, you never going to show up to the gym. You never going to show up to the gym. So, yeah, man. I get what you're saying. Another bomb. Bomb on it, bomb on it for sure. That audio is loud. Yeah, I've seen that, man. I made it louder for over here because I don't know what happens. It's just different from, my, from in here. Mm. Like the recording at your house will always sound better. It will always sound better because you got the foam. Mm. It's a more enclosed space. That's what I was just, about to say. It's just, yeah. It will always sound better. So I'm always kind of like fighting it at my house. Mm. But it's what it is. I think the biggest thing is that the clothes, though, man, that enclosed space. Yeah. Because it can trap that audio. Man. It helps. Yeah, man. And then sure. it gets absorbed with those pads. Yeah. It definitely helps. Oh, oh, for the, man, I know I just said I, this was like, but I want to say this, bro, for um, for we leave, bro. I'm just letting you vent, man. You um, had a week, man. This is uh, priorities, man. This also goes to priorities, bro. Is that your, if your priorities in line, bro, bro, it's so amazing what time will do, bro, if our priorities in line, bro. Because I think about just like when I look at our content now or like the podcast and everything, bro, how far we didn't came in one year. You know what I'm saying? Far we didn't came. And I don't think we understand how long a year is. Because, you know, 
we just breeze through weeks, breeze through days and everything, man. And life just goes, 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 goes. For you That's know, when them bills hit you. Yeah, man. Bills make time go by so fast. Bro, I'd be questioning. I'd be like, Mar, didn't we just pay them? Didn't we just pay them? Bro? Like, Why they send in another email? I'm like, they just said the money came out the bank account last week. Why are they sending another invoice for the one that's supposed to? I'm like, what is going on, man? Like, <sighs> I don't get and it. hit you like, dang, it's been a month already. Yeah. Oh. I do the same the thing when I look are, at bills will do it to you. Man, I look at my freeze. I'm like, didn't we just go grocery? I've been scratching my head every day. I'll be like, Mariah, didn't we just go grocery shopping? Yeah, my fridge always empty. I'm like, Mariah, did we just go grocery shopping? What's going on? But when it comes to a year, bro, I don't think we understand. Now, um, the other day, or just yesterday, bro, in church, you know, we got um, we got people from all over in our church, bro. We got people from different countries in Africa, we got people from Haiti. We got people from all over um, the United States, bro. We just got we got a bunch of different cultures in our church, bro. Yeah. Like we got people that grew up in Europe and now they in America and now they over there. Like just all over in our church, right? Yeah. So we got this um America. This, it's, yes, America, man. So we got this sister in our church right now, man. Um, born and raised in Haiti. Now you know in Haiti they do teach you like French in school, but they also teach you English because English is the language of commerce, like to do business and stuff. You got to know English. So she knows English, you know, to an extent, not like fully like, well, we'll be able to speak, but she can hold like a, yeah, she can hold on a little decent conversation, which, you know, sometimes you may, but, um, when she first got here, bro, I remember she was like, with the conversation, she was keeping them real short to just like the stuff she knew. And, um, it's gradually, bro, just increased and increased and increased. And she got up to sing yesterday, bro. Like. No other backup singers, just her, bro. Just her. Whole song in English, bro. And I'm talking about had like some lungs, bro. Like was actually like singing this joint and not like going to Creole back to English Creole. No, no, straight English. Yeah. And I was telling Mariah um, today, I was like, bro, it's just crazy what a year will do. You know what I'm saying? Since she'd have been here up to this point, right? Here, like what a year will do, bro, from where she was actually like first, like, didn't want to speak much, you know what I'm saying? To like now she's having conversations with people. She bro. married to somebody that speaks English? Yeah, yeah. She married to uh, she, so she's practicing every day. Yes, but he also speaks Creole. But if he speaks he English, born, he does. He does. He does speak English. But he was born like I remember when they when they first got here, bro, they was only speaking Creole around it. Cause this was before me and Mariah got married, that I would go over there and have dinner with them, um, with Mariah and them, and they would invite them over. Mm -hmm. You know, Mariah's parents being Haitian too, they would all just be cruel at the table. Yeah. Nobody was speaking English. You just looking I, around. I'm, little points I'm picking up and just eating right now. But so I, Mariah speaks it fluently. Mariah can understand it fluently. But like speaking it back to you, sometimes she get caught up on words. Okay. But Mariah know enough to like if if she was to go to Haiti, bro, she would understand what's going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But like as far as like trying to explain herself, she may trip out on that. But yeah, as far as like the stuff going on, she'll understand, man. And she can like if she reads in there, she can read it too. So, um, but when I was listening, I was I was just bro so amazed, bro. I was just because I was just thinking in my head how much a year can do, bro, and how long a year really is. It's that's just an example to show. Well, it's been saying. a year, Isaiah. Why ain't you speaking crew? It's been a year. Be easy. <laughs> <laughs> But I get what you're saying. It's it's a lot, and it's it's a lot of dedication and just consistency. That's what yeah. it really is. Yeah, bro. A year can be real fast if you're not consistent. Yeah, bro. So she's probably practicing her English every day, mm -hmm. multiple times a day. She's immersed in English. I'm yeah. sure she has a job where they speak in English. Mm -hmm. She's surrounded by it. It's amazing what the human brain can do. Yeah, bro. In a year. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Man. I just want to. I just want to say that, bro, because. Depending on what your priorities, bro, it can show like what your years is gonna become. It can show like what your days are right now, what to do with the standards. What are you saying with the standards, bro? Based on your priorities is what you're seeing right now. Based on your priorities is what you're living right now. You know what I'm saying? If your priorities is like, nah, bro, I'm not thinking about being an entrepreneur, I'm not thinking about moving up the corporate ladder. Okay. And unless you satisfied with where you at right now, bro, then you should be cool. But if you saying you want more, bro, but your ideals is not to go, or your priorities is not saying that you want more, bro. Then you just running that same. That's where that rat race comes into play. You just running that same thing, thinking that 
since I am showing up and doing the same thing, that more is going to come to me. No, bro, you're doing the same thing. And what's came to you is based on different results. Exactly. By doing the same thing over though. So, yeah, man, for sure. I just want people to understand, man. Get your priorities straight, you know. Get your priorities straight. Keep your number one, your number one. And then throw on two, threes, and fours. Yeah, man. You know, some things is, you know, they're going to be, they always going to be there. Like certain things, like, you know, dishwasher, doing them by hand. They all, it's always going to be there, bro. Mess it up. It's always going to be there, you know. Cutting grass, that type of stuff, it's always going to be there, man. You know, so it's just type of things. Like even they may not be the number one, but that don't change the fact that it's a priority and it's got to get done. Yeah. So, yeah, man, I think that was... Got it. Home. Same here, man. Same here. So, so you just cooked and left. You ain't getting nothing. You ain't eat nothing. Tripping. I know, bro. I know. But I wouldn't be able to. It'd be tough, man, to go back home and then I didn't eat and I didn't eat with Mariah. Uh, yeah, that'd be tough, bro. So I had a um, mother-in-law, man. She bought us some muffins uh, for breakfast yesterday. But like I said, we didn't eat breakfast. What kind of muffins? Blueberry and banana nut. So I got nuts in it. Uh, you like banana nut? No. I was like blueberry. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, blueberry. Banana, banana. Yeah, 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 I, I like bananas. I just don't. I just don't. I don't like crunch and then salt. Mm-hmm. I want it to be either so crunchy. You don't, so you can't do nuts in your brownies. No, I despise them. Man, bro. I despise them. I feel you on that, I don't want nuts man. in my cake. I feel you it's on disgusting. that, bro. Like, oh, oh it's nice and chewy yeah, and it I'm crunch. Like, no. What are we doing? No, you messed up. I don't up even the want the edges. Thing. I don't like edges. Because mm-hmm. edges are crunchy. So what about cookies and cream? That's a good point. Yeah. That's a I good just thought point. about that myself. For I me. like cookies and cream. I do, but I, I just like thought about cream. that for myself. Like it's different because the ice cream dissolves. But get hear me this. I don't like nuts in my ice cream though. Same here, bro. But cookies and cream is a little different. It is true. It's a little different. That's a good point though. And you don't like the corner brownie? Disgusting. Whoa. Disgusting. Whoa. You're bro. gross. So you like the middle ones? Yes. Give me the gooey ones. Uh, I like that. Ah, no, I ref- bro. I do not eat them. I refuse to eat them. Yeah. Can't like, do the corners. Me and my brother had an understanding. I'm eating the middle. You got the corners. I refuse to eat them. I won't bro, do corner it. Corner pieces is the best. Man. I don't even like crispy edges on my cookies. Mm. Like, if, oh, like, like, no, 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 no. Chewy. Yeah. I like it. No mm-hmm. crunch. Mm. Fire, there should never be any crunching with any of my desserts. I'm at to think about that cookies and cream because I'm the same way, bro. Like That's I, a good I, point. I don't like, like I don't like because it, it just tastes. I'm like it throws I'm, everything I'm off. Going in for this, like when I eat a brand, I'm going in for a soft like taste, bro. And then I get that. I'm like, bro, this gross. This this ain't it, bro. This is not. But yeah. And then people be like, but it's it's bro. This brownie ain't healthy, bro. I don't want to hear that. Like, just because you put some walnuts in it, that it made it healthy? Disgusting. Like, bro, get out of here. I don't even man. like walnuts. I don't like almonds. I don't like pecans. Don't put no peanuts in it. I feel you on that, man. I feel you on that. Bring us home. But yeah, man, whatever platform that you're listening to this on, whether it be YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, if you could like, comment, subscribe, leave us a five-star rating. Do not forget to share it with somebody because the support is gladly appreciated, man, for sure. I know we be talking about our guests, man, but I've been, I want to say this, man, for sure. Um, shout out to EJ, man. EJ out there doing numbers, man, bro. Man, when we going to get EJ on a podcast? We need man. to get what him back. What is this dude doing? He's in the season right now, so we're not about to touch him, bro. EJ, man, just, just miss a game, man. Come on, bro. Just, just, just throw the whole man, season for know? us, man. <laughs> <laughs> throw your life away for the podcast. Life. <laughs> you know, it'll no. help you live your life easier, yeah. man. Well, no, I can't wait to have EJ back on the podcast, yeah, bro. Man. Yeah, I think it's gonna be dope, man. But yeah, he I don't know what numbers. numbers. None of those numbers mean, so I don't say nothing, bro. But I don't know what none of those numbers no, 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 mean, bro. Bro, the reason why I say that, Mariah, Mariah put um, she had put him on a story and was like, "Look at these numbers." I'm like, "Mariah, you don't know what none of these That's numbers why I don't mean, say nothing, man." But like, bro, I support you. I'm yeah. glad y'all are doing your thing. Player of the month, but man. I don't know shout what out none to of this stuff means. Yeah. Yeah, man. But shout out to him. And then same with Derek, man, bro. Derek out here got his own photographer doing content and stuff. I'm like. What is going on here, Doing bro? Numbers. I was like, man, more power to it, bro. That's what we here for, man. That's what I want to be here for, man. You know, 
Y'all come on the podcast, man, and skyrocket, man. That's that's what I'm here for, you know. That's a, what is is it was, it was a, us. You know, it EJ, was us. EJ wouldn't have them numbers without us. Now, hey, you know? I, Derek I can't disagree. Have, Derek would have that photographer without us. Now, you know, I'm just just, hey. just saying, you know. I think that man. I got a I got a question, but I think he had a sponsorship, man. Nothing wrong with that. I ain't mad at it, bro. You yeah. better. I hope so. You know, man. Hey, shout out to uh, you know. Our other guests as well, man. We ain't <laughs> never forget about y'all. <laughs> bro, birthday. you shouldn't even say nothing, bro. Hey, I got How you, bro. Hey. Happy birthday, Jessica. But yeah, whatever platform that you were listening to this song, whether it be YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, if you could like, comment, subscribe, leave us a five-star rating. Do not forget to share it with somebody because support is gladly appreciated. So once again, like I said, I'm Coach Willis as always, man. We got Zyla in this joint with us. Until the next one, y'all. Be easy.